I am excited for today. I'm going to Costa Mesa Skate Park. I've never been there, but it always looks so nice. It's pretty much like a big plaza. Super good. So I'm gonna start off the morning by heading down there, which is a beautiful city anyway, so outside of skateboarding, I'll have a good time. It's gonna be a good day in general. Um, but lately, the last week or so, I've been really, really motivated to skate a lot. First skate trick of the day, requiring no effort on my part, 50-50. What? It actually rolled away. I did not expect that. I had to finish the word that because my camera died in the middle of it. So it was like that. Let's go. I like Akon. It is super dewy today. So I'm not sure how the park is going to go. I really hope it's not slippery. But regardless, I'm going to still try to do tricks. Uh, I just want to do 180 flip trick rotations if it's wet. But I've been wanting to skate this thing forever. And it ain't nothing going to stop me to do it. God. Okay, almost died right off the bat, and I elbowed my camera. Almost died. <laughs> I found a new favorite skate park. It's a pretty gap heavy skate park, which is cool for me because I really enjoy skating gap. Okay, I'm exhausted. That session got the best of me. I spent about two and a half hours or maybe two hours trying that triplet 5.0 after the triplet 50 and I just didn't land it, which is such a bummer because I got pretty close right away and then I spent two hours just getting angry and yelling and I got in that mode where I was just so excited that I just kept going and kept going and kept going and just drained all my energy. So now like, not even kidding, I'm gonna have to lay down next to my car for a little bit because uh, my body hurts that much to where like I have to kind of stay straight up. Yeah, I'm just dead, so I'm gonna uh, lay down. Ugh, frick. The thing is, I really need to get something to drink. I didn't drink anything that whole time, so straight drainage. Um, drainage, that's not the word for it. Dryage, drought. My body's having a drought. Anyways. Done being a sore loser. Right now, I'm gonna get something to drink. I'm gonna achieve things that are a lot easier to achieve than a Trayflip 5 for me at least. Um, I'm gonna get on my computer, I'm gonna work on a few things for my website, uh, which is an online baby clothing store. Yes, I mentioned that in every single episode, but just in case you're new to watching my channel, that is my main occupation. So I'm gonna go work on that and it's gonna be fun. Not to mention we're in beautiful Costa Mesa, so I don't know what the place is gonna look like or where I'm going, but I know it's gonna be pretty because everywhere here it looks really nice on camera and just period. A little more of a nap I got to before I go inside because I'm gonna be walking around a lot, I'm gonna get something to eat, and that's mainly where I'm gonna get my work done. So uh, I really need to wash my hands too, probably change my clothes and uh, take three showers. That was highly refreshing, but now I gotta go inside. I'm not gonna bring my camera inside because I've, I've learned my lesson by now. I mean, since the video that I put out that says don't film in malls, I probably got in trouble three times for bringing in my camera, and it's just hectic too, walking around, carrying it, especially while I'm trying to shop. Let's get some food first to start off though. That's, that's usually the best option, especially right now because I forgot to eat breakfast and I haven't eaten lunch yet and it's getting later on in the day. So I need to hurry up and get my, get my munch on. It might seem like I'm just sitting here to enjoy the view. Just take a load off, but uh, no, my thigh is cramping uncontrollably. I cannot be walking around a hey, little person. Um, so <laughs> so uh, I need to take a load off and I'm sitting here and waiting for my thigh to stop throbbing. Round two on attempting to walk. About 20 steps in and I'm still feeling good. Okay, so the craziest thing just happened to me and I'm actually a little bummed. A security guard came up to me and I was looking at a sign and he goes, can I help you? And the only time that's ever happened before is when I was filming in the mall, but I wasn't. I was just standing there looking at a sign and uh, I was like, well, yeah, I'm just looking for a restaurant. Um, 
but I don't really recognize a lot of these, so I'm probably gonna have to explore. And he was just like, well, here's the thing, sir. We only have specialty restaurants. So he looks at me and assumed that I'm like poor, sh that I shouldn't be here, or like that I was dirty or something. And I was so offended, but I was just like, well, uh, okay, I'm still looking for a restaurant though. And he's like, okay, well, uh, we have like, and he named the cheapest restaurant he had. And he was like, that's our cheapest restaurant. He said that to me. How insane is that? This is almost too HD. You can see like every detail of my face. It looks crazy. But uh, for the rest of the day, here's what I have planned. I'm gonna read off my list because it, it's easier for me to remember if I read it to you and it's actually more incentive for me to get it done because I don't wanna look like a loser who can't finish my to-do list. Finish this day in the life, which I already did this morning. Um, I have to swing by Brody's house. I have to buy food, so I gotta stop by there. Uh, I gotta start reading this book. I gotta buy a laptop sleeve. That's the most important thing ever, but I might just order it online, even though I want it now. So I might buy it now. I gotta order some ink for my printer, buy some onesies, I gotta stop by a store. So it kinda sucks, all the things that I have to do right now, I pretty much have to stop by a bunch of different stores to get it done. But I should probably just start doing that now instead of sitting here enjoying this beautiful room. It looks like I found a third camera, my webcam. Um, I was calling because I need to buy some ink for my printer. It's an Epson Workforce 30. And so I couldn't resist. I went back up to the security guard that talked to me earlier that bothered me, you know, and I was like, Hey man, just curious, when you came up to me earlier, why'd you come up to me and ask, can I help you with something? Because it just seems like a strange thing to say. And he was like, well, I get really bored at my job, so I go up to the director directories and I talk to whoever's looking at it just because I'm bored. And I was like, really? It had nothing to do with like the way I look or anything? And he's like, no. So, I mean, there's some closure there. He came up to me for, I think, legitimate reasons, but the comment about the expensive restaurants, that's not really justified. And uh, he seemed like a nice guy who was just kind of stupid. I just came to say hello. Seems to be a daily stop now. But I like it here. Got a big old bag full of big old baby clothes. But I gotta stop by one more store because I actually want to get even more. So I'm probably gonna stop by Carter's, maybe in Lakewood or I don't know. But I gotta stop by Walmart too. And uh, one other, I'm, I, my mind is slipping. So just a bunch of stores. Walking up to Walmart right now in hopes that they have sleeves for my new laptop. I mean, they have everything, right? So uh, they, should, they should have something. They don't. I guess I'll just go to any electronic store and I'm sure they'll have them. But the ones at Best Buy were all like bulky and stupid. And I'm looking for just a really simple sleeve, crisp, black or something, I don't know. But I gotta find something soon because it's getting dark quick and I still have to stop by another Carter's and some other thing that I already forgot that I have to do, but it's uh, it's getting hectic. I'm trying my luck at a different Best Buy. They're the same options and the same prices as the last Best Buy, but my time is running out. I keep spending a lot of time searching for this and it's actually costing me money. Therefore, that's my excuse to spend money on something like this. That's uh, a little more than I'm usually willing to spend on something like this. Feels good. Let's move on and never worry about that again. You wanna hear one reason I'm seriously hashtag blessed right now? I need to stop by a Whole Foods Market. I need to stop by a Staples. And I need to stop by Charter Carter's, I mean, which is right there. What? I had no idea either. I've been here plenty of times, but I didn't know they were there. So that's exciting. Like I'm getting the rest of my chores done right now. Sweet. They had my stack ready to go. That is awesome, awesome customer support. You stay there. Whole Foods, I'm just, it's walking distance, and then uh, Staples, and we're gonna get out of here. I cannot wait to be at my house. Whew. I can smell the finish line.
I know this is absolutely horrible lighting, but right now I'm waiting for my phone to charge back up because I don't know how to get home exactly. So uh, once it's charged, I'm gonna be heading that way. But right now I'm gonna use this as an excuse to take a little nap really quick in my car. Because even the lady at Carter's was like, you look exhausted and you have that raspy voice thing. What's wrong with you? I forgot there's one more quick stop by Brody Penrod's house. He's a old roommate of mine and a seriously talented skateboarder. So if you ever have the time, look up Brody Penrod on YouTube and watch the most unbelievable skateboarding. This is getting ridiculous. This is what I grabbed from Brody Penrod. Perfect. Now we can go home. I had to make a conscious decision. Should I just skate through the rain and deal with getting my board soaked or should I walk everywhere? And I chose to skate through the rain. But I have to get my dinner right now, which is at the Super Mex Nachos. I called to place the order on the way there and they took so long on hold that by the time I ordered on the phone, I was standing right next to it. So it was really awkward. Wow. That's a good start. Um, I'm really excited about reading this book. She's a bad arse. So anyways, uh, mm. that's it for this day in the life. I just bought dinner. I'm gonna sit down and really, really, really relax because not only am I tired from doing a lot of stuff today and running errands, etc., I'm just physically tired from that session. That thing, it lasted like three hours. It was really intense. I spent a lot of time on one trick that I didn't land, but I will get eventually. The reason I was so bummed on that guy earlier, it wasn't just because I thought he was stupid. It's because he sort of treated me like a charity case, and I got that so much growing up. Like, as a kid, my, my friends, parents, Parents, my teachers, they always were just like, John, goo boo boo boo. And I never really understood why. And I, I think, like, when you look at numbers, my family might have seemed like maybe a little poor, but we didn't feel that at all. And I didn't feel that at all. I like, not for a second growing up was I like, man, I wish we had more money ever because we had a lot of fun. And that that's like the ultimate gift my parents gave me was like, if you appreciate everything that you have regardless of what it is and every little tiny thing, it really doesn't matter how much money you have, you know, as long as you, you can survive. But that appreciation will ultimately make you happy, no matter what, because you can have anything in life and you're happy. So I don't know, to me, like, being seen as a charity case when someone doesn't have a lot of money is, a, is very ignorant on their part. And that's, that's just the reason it frustrated me so much. And of course, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You guys have been amazing so far. It's been really exciting to see super nice comments, especially continuously from some of the same people. Just just sticking in there and watching day and night and just peeping uh, the videos that I put up that are super fun for me to make. So. Not for a second is this just like, ugh, I gotta wake up and do a vlog, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm excited to pull out the camera, I'm excited to film, and I'm super excited to edit because that's that's one of my main passions is editing, skateboarding, and then, you know, just the random work that I do throughout the days. So, thanks again. Good night. Take care. Sayonara.